shit, just not crying. There we go. All right, welcome back. We just did the uh, Decadent Ales uh, Double Toasted Marshmallow. Marshmallow, marshmallow. People say different ways. Um, Sorry, asshole. Too. Um, we both loved it. I gave it a 10. He said 9.5. As soon as it warmed up, you got a little bit more of the sugary sweetness out of it. The only reason I gave it a nine and a half and not a ten is just because it says marshmallow in the can. It didn't. I mean, it was sweet and had a good vanilla flavor, but it, it didn't taste like a marshmallow. Yeah. No. But it was fucking it was great. great overall. Yeah. Um, like a pineapple and coconut and vanilla. Yeah. Vanilla it, mm, killed it. And it, 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 I was actually kind of worried about it having the like coconut and supposedly marshmallow in an IPA. Like I didn't know how I was going to feel about that, but yeah. It turned out to be great. Uh, this is going to be a sort of a re-review. Uh, this is the 2018 version, possibly 2000, actually probably 2017, because when we get this in the states, it's like six months later. Uh, it's Omnipolo, uh, Bruxton, brought whatever I can't remember the name of the brewery. Uh, Yellow Belly. Um, full disclosure: When I reviewed this uh, about a year, actually about a year ago. Uh, all I got was sour cheese in the smell and sour cheese in the flavor. Um, there was sludge at the bottom. It looked kind of clearish, and like pieces of like nutshell or something was in it. It is Buxton Brewery. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is Ami Polo Yellow Belly Imperial Stout brewed with peanut and biscuit flavors. But I actually read last night on like their I don't know it was a basically like a, a something about the beer. It said that it's not brewed with any peanuts, nuts, or peanuts, butter, or biscuits. Mm -hmm. It's just the way they did the malt and so forth. And... Um, <clears throat> imported by 12% LLC, contains barley, wheat, oats, hops, yeast, water, and aromas of peanut butter or peanut and biscuits. Uh, best before 11 8 2001. 2001, 2021. Jesus, what a gross. All right. It's just they're pretty much brought in by the same company. So we're gonna take the clan hood off of this thing. We don't like dark beers in our town. We like our blonde ales. <laughs> so then on the inside we just It says Yellow Belly, a person who is without courage, fortitude, or nerve, a coward. To us, one of the most cowardly deeds is to act anonymously, hiding behind a group and signifying a signifying trait of an illusionalist racism of illusional in, in, uh, hang on bah <coughs> institutionalized let me spit that word out racism this beer is brewed to celebrate all things new open-minded and progressive a peanut butter biscuit stout with no biscuits butter or nuts taste and enjoy and don't be prejudiced all right one second let me see this let me see if this has sludge in it <coughs> it's kind of weird though they talk about you know how being prejudiced is bad and don't do it. Yeah, but then they wrap it in like the most prejudiced kind of a, label. Like an oxymoron type of thing. Yeah, like I mean. I like the way their label feels. It's got like a sandpaper. It does, it's like paper. matte and it's kind of mm. textured. Uh, this was 11 August 21 is Best Buy. Uh, it actually doesn't say a bottle on date. Mine that I did last time actually said a bottle on date. It was six months old when I did it. Well, that's what ifs. I think put it like a penis hat now. Just make, sure, make sure nothing's going to go anywhere. You don't want to get your glass over here just in case. It's actually good. It's good. Damn, I smell a motherfucker from here. I might have just got a bad beer. I don't know. Yeah, I can smell like the, the peanut butter kind of smell. But it, it, it just, this whole thing is kind of weird to me. Like, no, it smells like fucking it's like it's sour cheese smell. I don't know. Is it just me? Hmm. It, it's, it's clean. So I got all the sludge out. I don't smell sour cheese. I smell like a. No, oh, that does smell different. It does, doesn't it's smell like sour a, a chocolate peanut butter smells what I'm getting. Uh, yeah, that smell is completely different. And even even the head looks different, I believe. It's it's not as... I think the last time I did it, the head was really fluffy. Well, I watched... like I, I just watched his review of this beer from last time last night. Yeah, that smells completely different. 
And it was actually pretty funny because he was using all kinds of nasty feet. And I was fucking pissed, man. I spent $15 on a beer and I didn't even finish it. This actually smells like really fucking good. Like, I would use this as like a... If they made this in one of those little fucking wax candle deals, mm -hmm. I'd put this in my house. Like, it smells like fresh baked chocolate peanut butter cookies. Oh, yeah. And like a... I kind of get like the, I mean, maybe Milky. it's like the milk, I mean, I was going to say like the yeasty bread and maybe the biscuit kind of smell. I'm kind of excited now. I'm glad I bought two of these. Uh, maybe let, let the other one age a little bit. Maybe. Even though it was 27 bucks for two bottles. Big difference. It doesn't taste sour at all. Man, it don't taste sour. I mean, I didn't taste it. I mean, this is the first time I've ever had this, but watching his review, he talked about it, you know, smelling like sour cheese and it has a real, real sour taste to it. I don't get none of that. I kind of do get like a, like a doughy biscuit taste though. It's kind of, it's different. Imagine a, a semi-sweet chocolate bar with peanuts, like a Mr. Good bar, but like less sugar. Yeah. Like, cause it's not like, um, not peanut butter. Yeah, nuts. Uh, Avery, I think it's Avery does the the nuttiest professor. Yeah, the, the, the peanut butter stout we had it at at the uh, Harvest Beer Festival. Yeah. Like that was a really good peanut butter stout, but it was like super super, super boozy. Was it? it was boozy and it was really sweet. I think it's like fourteen percent or something though. Mm -mm. Um, what was I thinking? That was really super boozy that the founders had. It was a cherry or something. I thought. Holy shit! Same person? No, that's Casey. Oh, brother-in-law just left? Yeah. He's like, I wrecked. I think I'm dying. No, he'd probably call me for some dumb shit. For probably probably telling cat. me, yeah, he's like, hey, dude, I forgot I left my cat outside and I can't get to its food. <laughs> and it's got a little bitterness, like a like a peanut shell, like the, the mm. skin. Yeah. Walnut skin is kind of a little overpowering. This is like a less... I don't know that I've ever had like walnuts with the skin still on them, but it definitely does has that have that not really because like a peanut skin to me like I think like really kind of like bitter and dry like a red peanut like yeah you get like a like bar nuts or some shit yeah but this isn't like I mean it, it's got the, the little bit of like the the bitter but it's not I mean it's kind of dry but it's not super dry it's like tolerable. And I don't know if you're gonna upload these in order or not. Yeah. In the order we've done them. The last one of these tonight is gonna be good. Actually, I've com I'm completely out of videos now, so we're gonna start off tomorrow or the next day. Actually, I'll be too drunk tomorrow to do it the next day, Monday. Yeah. That one. So the last one of these, the last beer review from today, tonight, will probably be pretty good because everything we have, I think every, everything we have is better. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do last. I'm saying because everything we have is better than. 10% alcohol and we've got like fucking 14 beers in there. I'm glad we started at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and not 6 because it'd be a, a short 2-3 hours we'd be done. Yeah. yeah. At least this way we can pace ourselves and eat dinner and come back later and do some more. Yeah. When I... Look. What? I've got some sludge on the bottom of the cup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I didn't get it off last time. That might have been my fault. But it, even out of the bottle, it smelled that way. And it was it was clear. If you ever had um, any drink with chia seeds, that gummy shit that's on chia seeds, that's exactly what it looked like in the bottom. Sludge, clear sludge, and little chunks of shit. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, what the fuck was that? Was cat. that a cat? Yeah, it's a cat. I'm really glad this one wasn't like that. Because I'd have been mad. i take that other one and just age it. Give it a year. I probably won't last that long, but... <laughs> I still got that dogfish head. That 120. I've still got one of those. It's in one of these boxes somewhere. I'm going to age it but I wasn't. Years. I wasn't like a... I, there ain't no way. I mean, if it stays in a box and I don't realize it for five years, then it might last that long. But I wasn't, you know, it's not like fucking amazing. 
Good. So it's not something that I'm gonna be like, fuck, I wanna drink another one of those. This is pretty fucking good. Yeah. I could probably still go to the store, um, the liquor store right down the road that the, the Drew's Wine and Spirits that I was talking about that, that, that Felix works at. Mm -hmm. I actually messaged him on Facebook to make sure he was gonna get some of these and then went and picked them up. What? You're a talkative fucker, aren't you? Yeah. Go home. <laughs> I mean, I'm thrown for a loop compared to what it was when I last had it. Well, I'm not basing my opinion about this off of your last video. Oh no, I'm 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 probably gonna end up deleting that video, honestly. Yeah. And you're not gonna get the what is it, twelve percent? Oh no. Uh, uh, this is, it's on the yeah, paper. It's eleven or twelve percent. Eleven, I think. It might be eleven, yeah. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. But it, the eleven point two ounces. I know that's how it might be over in you know Europe and so forth and so on. But here in America, twelve ounces. Twelve ounces, twelve inches. I mean, if you guys can't fall, keep coming up short, I mean that's that's y'all's fault. Why we sell bagger? What? We're trying to record something right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to drink this off camera. There's no sense of down it here. Um, dark chocolate. Well, not dark. Semi-sweet chocolate. Peanuts. Not peanut butter. It's not sweet like peanut butter usually. Well, tip, unless it's like the natural peanut butter. That's what I was going to say. Like a natural peanut butter. Like, Because it's not like sweet like you get like... You know, Peter Pan peanut butter. But like you chunky like, peanut butter, more peanut-esque flavor. Yeah, yeah. But if you bought like the all-natural peanut butter that comes in the weird colored can, it kind of has that taste to it. Like it's not, it's sweet, but it's not peanut butter sweet. Like my kids love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I can't do it. I can't do that much sweet at the same time. I just, yeah. it drives me crazy. But. If this was in a spread, I'd eat this on bread. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, I think it smells better than it tastes. Honestly. That's what I think too. It does. This smells better than it tastes. But I mean, because a lot of you people can't get prairie, but here in Oklahoma, prairie is here. We can go 30 minutes to prairie in Oklahoma City and get almost anything that they have available. Um, I take any other bombs over this. Take to be a dick. I know this is a specific beer that you're not going to get a whole lot of. If Prairie kicks out a peanut butter chocolate stout, I think that Nigerian I think Prairie. Prince that they have on tap at the uh, Prairie OKC right now is a peanut butter stout. And has coffee too. Yeah, we we should have went and got one. Fuck. <laughs> Are you good good enough to drive? Yeah. <laughs> Coming up. Prairie Artisan Ales. Yeah, Jerry Prince. Prince. We're just gonna, leave, going. We're just gonna leave his daughter asleep. And as soon as my wife gets home, I'm not doing that. As soon as my wife gets home, we're going to prayer. Are we really? If you want to, I'll go. Okay. Do you think you can drive? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Um, God, we have too much beers as it is. I know, but fuck. Well, well at least if we go get that before the kegs are gone, we can just like it can just sit in the fridge. Yeah. First of all, we don't have to worry about those barley wines. We can do those later. That's true. We've had those for fucking anyway, over now. Anyway, not related to this video. Who spun last? I did, but I can't stop smelling this. Like, if you just like think about walking into a bakery, it's got like that smell. It's like the, the cookies. It's like it's fucking amazing. All right, we better hurry. My wife pulling in the driveway, right. and they're gonna be uh, yammering. Yeah. All right, good. All right. I'm still gonna say nine. I give it a nine and a half. Um, the only thing that I would I could think that I would change is maybe a little bit sweeter. Exactly. A little bit sweeter. Maybe even a maple version of this. I know they did the the Yellowberry uh, Sunday. I think that's what it is. It's like a barrel aged version. Mm. A lot of people I've love that. I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, it's got like some weird like blood droplet or something on the front. But yeah, it's fucking fantastic. All right, there right, you go. We'll see you.